Hello YouTubers and fellow tankers and even my own clanmates. I am Shrinking and you've arrived at King's Court Reviews where I'm going to do a review today of the Tier 7 IKV 90B which is a Swedish tank destroyer. Um, for those that are new, uh, for these reviews I do kind of like pros, cons, um, whether the line is good, notations of maybe the, the tank before and the tank and the tank after, um, to include to say whether or not it is worth going down that line, um, or even continuing down that line, and then I get into a guide aspect of like how to best play the tank. So, right out the door for the pros, the gun is really nice. Um, so you'll see here it's able to aim. Uh, now, bear in mind at this at this tier, it does not get into the switch mode, which is with X, right? Um, and that's one of the things that the line is known for. Uh, but that actually comes in at tier eight. Uh, so this is the precursor before you get to that. So gun accuracy is really good. The reload rate's really good. The damage output's really good. The uh, penetration rate is really good. Now what's kind of interesting? Oh, the camo rating on the on the tank is really good. Uh, view range is okay. And the speed of it's pretty good. Now, when it comes into cons, wh what are your cons? Uh, well, so the angling on it is not as the angling would be with a lot of the other ones. So it's starting to get there, but there's still a lot of flat surfaces. So uh, what's the note there is that if you do get sight on you and they start putting shots at you, it's probably going to hurt. Um, they will be able to uh, not. Uh, now that said, uh, because of the design of the tank, you do have really good cameras. Uh, you can see here, away, you just can't see me. And that's ideal for me, right? So, and but you'll notice, like, uh, I wasn't really getting lucky on a lot of my shots, where I, I just seem to be missing stuff. Uh, for some uh, so there's a good chance that there's like a box or something the that I'm just not seeing. Um, the other con uh, would be the fact that it is a non-turreted. Uh, when you need to look in a direction, you have to look in that direction. Um, which means you're going to have to turn the tank or something like that, and that will then make it to where your camo rating is going to be right Because you have a camo net and then binox. Right? So it also means your vision rating. So those are the kind of the key key uh, cons to me. Other than that, there's a lot of cons. Um, the depression angling and stuff like that is definitely existing on the tank, which makes it kind of interesting because, like, you'll see here, just being on the ridge and stuff like that, you get enough depression to still see tanks that were kind of lower um, on the hill or at the bottom of that hill so that I can still get good shots on them, which makes it very interesting. Um, so, overall, I would say the tank is definitely is definitely nice. Now, if I go into the tank line, right, so, like, the tank before was actually not as cool as this one to me. Um, it was like a mini box that had depression. Um, you want to basically try to use hills with that one um, as much as possible because uh, your camo rating wasn't even that good at the tier 6 one, uh, which made it really kind of a pain because I tended to get spotted pretty often. Uh, in this case, with this tank, you actually do have a lot of, a lot of camo, which makes it a lot of different opportunities. So, uh, that in mind, then the next tier, right, tier 8, is like the prime time of all of it, because now you get into that X mode, uh, and then, by the way, because you have the X the, the mode swap, the key thing that's really interesting there is that you can actually, even though it's a not turreted vehicle, you don't lose, or you don't Double lose kill. Uh, your camo net or binox when turning left or right. It's only if you can move forward or back. And that is that immediately makes the major weakness of a turreted vehicle gone, right? So it's like, okay, well, hey, I don't care if I have to turn on spot, uh, because, hell, it's not going to break any of it, so you still have to try to spot me through everything. Um, and then at the same time, I'm still able to see really far, because I've been able to keep my binocs up, which, those are the kind of things that, uh, to me, it just seems kind of strange that they have it. And actually, speaking of the tier 6, you see it's just a little box vehicle. Um, and it's pretty easy spot, right? It doesn't have the same camera, so it's kind of rough. So, how do I play this thing? Uh, well, one is definitely really good to be a push. Uh, so you'll see there that the IKV, the, the one, the predecessor, the 26, was actually able to pen me there. Uh, or I'm sorry, not pen me, but spot me there. So I did get spotted. Um, now, you'll see here where, where I'm at. I don't want to really move this absolutely. 
just like, hey, my team is going to get pushed here a little bit, so I'm trying to help. But, you definitely want to use bushes to your advantage, because uh, the camo rating on this vehicle is really good. Your gun, like I said, is pretty accurate, the aim time is really good. Um, so it makes it very, very viable as a good support unit for your team. Um, it, and you can be like in situations where if you know, like for example, where these buildings, these guys don't really push past there, then using ah! just uh, the buildings, the block line of sight, and keeping the uh, bushes and stuff like that to keep you uh, blocked or crowded. Ah! I do highly recommend that you try to play this more as a support vehicle. Let your team kind of spot for you, things like that. It's not an ah! aggressor. Um, that said, like I said, you have to bear I'll it. Try to kill. Like, wherever you're going to be, try to not be in a situation where you're going to have to turn left or right. So, this is the case where, like, you see they're even rushing me, but, like, ah! they're just simple shots. Like, that guy just pulled a shot right at me and immediately took out my engine. So, the engine is to the front. So it's like, um, if you're gonna get hit from the front, chances are. But it's not like you're gonna have a lot of choices, right? You're not looking to like, let people shoot you. So. Um, because you have mobility and stuff like that, or, I'm sorry, like, you have decent speed, and you're able to get up to a decent high speed, like top speed and stuff like that. This thing does have the option of repos uh, repositioning. So, like, that's kind of like what you see here. Is, yeah, I can get kind of spotted and stuff like that. I'm not looking to stay in fight. I'm actually just trying to reposition. So, I'm using my speed to the advantage. So, you want to try to do that. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty steadfast, straight straight to go, as like what you would normally do with uh, tank destroyers. Now, one thing I will note is if you have your camera net up and you're in bushes uh, and you have other bushes, maybe breaking line of, like breaking the line of sight and stuff like that, you shouldn't really have too much to fear about uh, firing with targets inside the view circle. So what I mean here is. There's maximum view range, which is 445 meters, and that that's one circle on your your mini map. Um, now, for me, like my blue circle is kind of showing like where my view range usually is, and then I have a light blue that's saying where it's at now because of the binox. But then there's the yellow circle on the mini map that's telling me what is the maximum view range, and then the red circle that's saying what's the max draw distance, right? Which means even if they were spotted on radio, if they're past that, I wouldn't be able to see them. So, usually on a tank destroyer, you want to say, hey, don't fire if they're within the view range, right? Uh, maximum view range, because chances are they're at that max, they have that max, and they might spot you. If you your camel rating drops. Uh, now, in this, in this vehicle, your camel rating is still really pretty darn good, considering, um, but that still kind of goes into practice. It's just now it's not necessarily that maximum view range. It's kind of like, let's draw it like 50 meters back. Uh, maybe even a hundred depending on how good you have like on your crew like concealment and stuff like that So I would play around with it a little bit kind of see when is it that you're typically getting spotted Is it when there's like one box basically within the distance of your maximum view or is it you know, maybe two? Um, but besides that I, I would say I would never fire um, If it was too close right um, and by too close I mean like two boxes closer so if you look at the, like, my light blue, or I'm sorry, that, like, yellow, basically, it's a full box to my actual dark blue. If it was another box in, I, I probably would never fire. Then that's just by, you know, knowing I have good concealment anyway on the crew, I think, already. And then it already has good concealment anyway for from the uh, vehicle itself, plus the camo net and all that stuff. So just kind of bear those in mind. Um, and then again, like if, if your flank is losing really bad, it's always an option to actually fall or reposition and get away from it. So just kind of keep those in mind. So you have that ability. So like in here, I was actually able to reposition all the way over. And you know, this is really kind of toe to toe. Um, and really important that we we should have worked together, kind of thing, right? And this is you know where teamwork is a whole other topic, but. Um, bear that in mind. Like again, like I said, support type vehicles to so try to support your team. I could have tried going all on my own, you know, and just see what I could do, but I'm trying to work with my teammate, even though my teammate's not really trying to work with me. And I know that they're going to be coming. So here I'm using the speed, and I know it's not good to really get, you know, uh, positioned to where it's you, know, you and, and your teammate right next to each other all the time, because that actually makes it really focus targets. Um, when you split, uh, where here's the flank, 
then it gets interesting. Like flank, I actually can get it to where they have to concentrate on the direction that he assists and then person. So here's a case where I think warning. I think yeah, I think my own teammate actually shot me there because he wanted to shoot at the end of the which anyone knows anything in the game. That M twelve's reload is so long, I would have taken care of it myself. I wouldn't have done anything. Uh, my shot was just on it. I was able to get it. So it's really sad that he chose to do that because then it made it to where I couldn't uh, pull this off. Be do, be do, be do, be do. It's Tick Destroyer. Oh, it's over here. It doesn't have as many, many hit points. So, again, I hope these things are, are really useful or good for you guys. Um, let me know if there's particular tips or tricks that or you want to hear about or that maybe you knew about that I'm not mentioning and you feel I should. Um, let me know if there's particular styles that you're liking. So I've tried different styles in these videos. I have some where I'm actually introing the vehicle by stats or you know showing it in, in the garage and then getting into gameplay. Uh, maybe particular highlights of the gameplay. Uh, oh hell, man, maybe you don't even want these these type of videos. Maybe you just want me to go over people's gameplay videos and describe what they might be thinking or why they're doing certain things and things like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know. Uh, what kind of videos you're looking for. Let me know if there's particular tanks that you're looking to get videos on. Um, I'm more than happy to. I have a lot of recordings of, of tanks. Uh, it's just I'm trying to go through them as I can. Uh, and that sometimes can take some time. So uh, with all of that uh, said and done, I'm going to go ahead and let this kind of roll. And we'll call this good. And I hope, again, you know that you guys like this stuff and if you do please like and subscribe I do have plenty of videos that are coming up and also that have already been released uh, if you are looking for other videos please feel free to look through my channel um, as I do have quite a few alright thanks and I'll catch you on the next video